All right, so if you bought one of these Light Blaster Game Box console kits, this is how you get it set up. So first things first, you're gonna take your power cable, plug it into an available surge protector. I do recommend surge protectors over your wall, although you can do that as well. From there, you're gonna have this weird kind of split cable right here, and both of the power modules for your console and then for the power supply for the guns are going to be plugged into that. Uh, from over here, so like I said, the box for the console is going to plug into this power port right here. It's the only one on there, can't miss it. The other uh, gun power supply is gonna hook it into the, this barrel jack portion of your light guns. Once you have, the, once you have all the power plugs put in, you're gonna go ahead, hook up your VGA cable so you get output or HDMI, your preference. And then you're gonna take the USB hub. Uh, it might be a different one than this, but it's, it doesn't matter too much. And you're gonna plug it into the top USB port on the control deck. And then what you're gonna plug into this is the USB for your guns your gu and your light bar. And after that, you'll be ready to get the machine started. So you'll flip the switch. It's gonna power on. We got the world's smallest monitor over here to output the display. And it'll play a startup video. And basically you'll know you've done it right if uh, when it gets onto the main menu, you sh you'll be able to see the cursor for the gun going around on the screen there. Any minute now. <laughs> you'll probably just want to fast forward through it. All right, and then you can see, I'm moving the camera around. You can see there's over by the menu here, I got my orange cursor. So the gun has power and everything's working right. 